Next 2019 included so many great sessions, it is likely you missed a few or wanted to relive some of your favorites. My friend Seth Vargo gave an awesome talk about DevOps versus SRE. Are they competing standards or friends? Join me for a spoiler-free preview of Seth's presentation. Developers are told to build and ship features faster. Operators are told to keep the system stable and reliable. This creates an environment with misaligned incentives. This misalignment encourages developers to throw changes over the proverbial wall as fast as possible, while encouraging operators to reject those changes in pursuit of stability and reliability. Shipping faster and running more reliable systems are great objectives, but the DevOps movement is about more than that. It's about aligning everyone to improve the customer experience. There are a number of DevOps practices that we can put in place to help. Let's take a quick look at some of them. First up is the idea that we should reduce organizational silos. Developers and operators working together are more capable of delivering the best results. We all want to live in a world where our systems are 100% available, reliable, and performant. We also know that this land of unicorns and lollipops does not actually exist. DevOps implores us to accept failure as a normal mode of operation. Something we can do to improve both speed and safety is implement and introduce changes gradually. Deploying a small change that was made is much safer than deploying a large change that was made and has been building up over a number of weeks or even months. Another practice of DevOps is leveraging tooling and automation. Whether provisioning systems, deploying applications, or patching the operating system, there is a place for good automation practices. Making these tasks easy and automatic frees up developers, operators, and others to focus on more important work. Finally, DevOps teaches us that we need to measure everything. Having good metrics and measurements about our systems helps us make good decisions about how to improve those systems. Without good metrics, how will we know if our changes were impactful? So, those are some of the DevOps practices. What exactly is SRE? Well, in 2016, Google, together with O'Reilly, released a book on the topic of site reliability engineering. The ideas presented in the book have led some to ask the question that is central to this talk. Are DevOps and SRE competitors or friends? One concept that SRE introduces is the error budget. It helps the business make trade-offs between speed and reliability. The error budget informs what to do when the system is not meeting its reliability goals. For example, the error budget may dictate that teams stop pushing new features and focus all engineering efforts on the things that make the system more reliable, like automated deployments. SRE provides a framework for defining these error budgets. We start with service level indicators, or SLIs. An SLI is a metric that tells us something about the system. The best SLIs are the ones that give us an indication of customer happiness. So for example, a customer will be happy when their shopping cart loads correctly and unhappy when it loses items. From the SLIs, we can now generate some service level objectives or SLOs. An SLO lets us set a goal for an acceptable level of service reliability over time. For example, we might say that 99.99% of requests to the shopping cart over the past 28 days should be successful. So, DevOps and SRE, are they competing standards or friends? Well, I promise not to spoil it for you. So check out the link in the description below to find out the answer or draw your own conclusions. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe to the Google Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.